All right, everybody, welcome to modded survival. I couldn't find a new mod pack that I thought would be suitable, so I assembled my own, like the old days. I'll do a little b-roll of the list of mods so you can see what we've got. I tried to be selective. It's not too many mods, but I wanted to choose ones that I thought I'd actually put to use, because oftentimes in like a whole kitchen sink mod pack, right, you only end up touching a fraction of the mods unless you're following the quests to a T, if it's one that has a quest book. So in this, I thought it would be a bunch of mods that I would actually put to use. And you might notice one that's a, a bit of a throwback, right? Divine RPG. So this was the main driver, the focus mod in the original modded survival. It was also in super modded survival, but to like a slightly lesser extent. It's been updated to 1.16.5. I, I don't know if there's a new team behind it that's pushing it forward. But in any case, I thought it'd be cool to take Divine RPG and then combine it alongside some of the new, more modern mods that that are like more widely used, quality of life stuff, you know, refined storage, mechanism, Batania, um, things that I'm familiar with, but that I think could be like cool additions, while Divine RPG still kind of acts as the main exploration driver and, and goal creator. And we'll see how it goes. I'm excited to give it a try. It's a throwback, but it's also like new, it's modern, and nostalgic all at the same time, maybe, at least in my mind, as I envision it, and, and we'll see how it actually plays out. I'm hoping it'll be interesting. Maybe some of you have seen the old modded survival series. Maybe this is new to some of you, in which case that'll be cool too. I didn't even mean to click that and see all these different crafting recipes and whatnot. I don't know where that just came from, but yeah, um, a lot of stuff. Obviously, we've got how many pages here in JEI? 33 pages? Not bad. Not as big as some other mod packs, obviously. But, you know, I, I put my heart and soul into <laughs> figuring out which mods uh, we should add here. So, also, you know, we spawned, like, really, really lucky right in front of a, a big hay bale house. What is this? Some three little pigs straw house. I'm the big bad wolf, and I'm going to huff, and I'm going to puff, and I'm going to blow the door in and oh hi sorry were you actually hiding from the big bad wolf do you are you trade you're a traitor tell zealous i said hi okay i'll make sure to do that if i see him livestock merchant who spawn egg if i get you some acacia logs or or jungle stones or leather what in the what are you even from what mod i feel bad like destroying his house how do i get a what is a jungle stone let me see wait this might be a divine rpg dude dram cricks we made merch back in the day about the dram cricks ruining our lives on the original jerry's tree just dropping on our heads i'm really sorry dude but i gotta break a little bit of your house it's not gonna ruin its functionality just the aesthetic but I, I could really actually use this as some starter food. So sorry about that, but it is what it is. I wonder, like, is he Divine RPG? Or is it just, I wonder if it's pulling random blocks from just, you know, the entire list of blocks that are, that are accessible here? I have no idea, but that's fascinating. And also really great that we have this. Also, I should probably just make a stone hoe. But dude, yeah, to have like the old stuff brought up to 1.16.5, we got our fancy shaders and you know Optifine and all that stuff. I just thought it'd be kind of a an interesting combo to have. And in my testing, it looked pretty cool. We're using um, Oh the Biomes You Go, I think. Oh the Biomes You Go for for all the different biomes that we've got here. And I think uh, that mod also makes like a, a more interesting Nether versus Biomes of Plenty. I tested generating worlds both just vanilla and with other biomes you go and biomes of plenty. It just seems like some of the Divine RPG mobs, they, they don't like spawning in certain biomes and that was in vanilla as well. So it didn't seem like it made a huge difference. Although in the nether it does seem like you kind of have to be in one of the uh, vanilla biomes in order to get the Divine RPG spawns. But I actually thought that might be a good thing for balance reasons because some of the Divine RPG mobs are very, very beefy and do a lot of damage and are hard to kill. So I felt like if I just walked into the nether and immediately started getting shot by the rapid fire arrow, dude, that it would probably not be good. So I think it kind of works out. 
at the end of the day, uh, the way that we have it set up and we'll have to do a little exploration in order to find some of the mobs that we need in order to get their drops and stuff like that. So I thought it'd be kind of a, an okay way to do things in any case. So it, it might not be working the way it's intended in some of the biomes, but I think it's also, it, it works for our design. Okay, is there any like acacia wood or anything? I'd, lo I'd love to make a trade and see what the heck an ehu is. Wait, I should check this. Is what What is an ehu? It is divine RP. So you're... You just, I don't remember, were you a thing back in the day? Last time I played this, it was almost eight years ago. It was Super Modded Survival. And I. it was in September 2014 was Super Modded Survival. The original Modded Survival was November. Ow, oh God, oh God, no, 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 he's mad. He upset, what the frick are you? Oh, there's a pillager tower over there. Oh God, I'm gonna just end up, oh God, how much health do you have? Oh dear. I got it. I should have done damage into. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die already. This is not okay. I can't hit you because of all the stupid tall grass. Please no. Please not like this. Okay. Oh, that's uh. Yeah, I think that's a divine RPG boy. Oh boy, that was uh. That's a little bit scary there for the moment. Let me just get myself a little bit of food here. Probably be a good idea. All right, that'll hold us over. I wonder if we can use these for anything. Oh. Okay, that's another one of those stone things, and then can we use that for something? Oh, dude! We slay enough of those dude bros, then we can get some good gear. Just look out for more of them. Hey, that's good though, because that, like, you know, we want to we wanna see Divine RPG mobs, and this isn't even a vanilla biome, I don't think so. I wonder, oh god, no, 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 I need a shield before I engage with you guys, but that's crazy. I should set a waystone over there, or waypoint. Do we do waystones as a mod as well? Um. Hey bud, uh, oh god, I'm not gonna be able to sleep. Oh jeez, let me get that as well. Um, can I waste- You're kidding me! Where? It's frick off! Am I, like, bleeding? There's an effect that shows up on my screen. I'm bleeding, bro! So, let's, uh, straw house. Make it kinda yellowy. Save. Great, and then we'll have to- I don't know. I guess if we have that marked off, we'll know that the pillager tower is, like, pretty close by. Yo! Hey, these guys, these guys are traders too. At least we're finding traders to begin with. That's very expensive. And why do you sound that way? Wait, if I if I get you to shoot the, this this man, if I get if, shoot him instead, I want to see if he gets mad. Shoot him. Shoot. They're really doing a great job at avoiding shooting the jack o' lantern guy. Please, please shoot. Please. Yeah. Oh, I want to see this wreck their world. You really? You just let him shoot you like that, and then you didn't even bother to attack him? Oh, frick. How could you be so passive? I bet if I attacked him, he'd just go and wait. Well, I don't need to do that. Sorry about that, pig. I have I have plenty of vegetarian food here. I really I could probably use a bed if I could find any sheep. That would be great because we're gonna start to get to the point where it's nighttime, and there's probably gonna be a lot of mean things that are gonna come out to get me here. Let's see. A village would be great too. Plenty of these trader dudes all over the place. Is it just the same stuff? Infinite ammo. They've ranged and. Melee, I assume, to go with it. Skeleton chest. That's like good armor, dude. And if we just got a lot of skeleton skulls, which it doesn't seem like an easy thing. Yo, okay, we got a village over there. Come on, let's go. Maybe I won't need to go back to the straw house in order to get more food eventually. This is good. This is good. I can sleep. Hey, guys, I hope I'm not about to like. Oh, yeah, yo, what's up? Got some cyclopses over there. I can't remember if they're good. Or bad. I mean, basically, I might as well just be playing Divine RPG for the first time in terms of remembering. Oh, let's go. We got Waystones. Zork McCark. You know, on the plus side, though, rather than it being you can't mine those when it comes to RL Craft, I believe we can mine these and it's not a problem. So if we want to just yoink a Waystone, we totally can. Also, it's just, you know, now that we're 1.16.5, we can cycle our trades and do all the usual modern quality of life stuff that we're so used to are the uh i can't are they nice hey hey man are we oh we're kind of chilling bro are we chilling we are hey okay i'm really glad you didn't just like pummel me into the ground because that would have been kind of embarrassing and also really mean so uh thanks for that these aren't this isn't your food right like you don't mind if i just take this no cool no that's that's dope that's much appreciated dude I'm just gonna grab this stuff really quick and then I guess we'll kind of have to figure out like where where are we gonna set up shop as far as like a place to live should we should we hijack a village will this be the series where I finally decide to like make a cool house that's a stretch that's that's a bit of a stretch to be honest but 
You never know. Should I, you know, hey, let me just maybe, I could get myself some, uh, some arrows here. Might not be like worst idea in the world. Could be good for like keeping ourselves alive. No, I'm, I'm about that. It's a good idea. And then also, bro, we can just, oh, I love the fact that we can get refined storage. It's going to be so nice. Can't imagine living without refined storage. What did we do in our craft? How did, how did we live? As the series is still ongoing on, on Twitch, where we don't have refined storage, but I keep lobbying Shivaxi every time I stream, like, Hey man, you should uh, add refined storage to RL Craft. It would definitely fit the vibe of it um, 100% and not be out of place at all. This could be a good place to just kind of, uh, maybe we should go like just slightly further away so that I don't have a bunch of mobs like attacking the village at night. Just like, let's get out of the simulation distance, but still be like kind of close and just waypoint the thing. And then I could keep the waystone there, or, nah, I'm just gonna yoink the waystone. <laughs> Who am I kidding? It's not like you guys are gonna use it, so don't mind if I do, right? Let me just grab this. Hopefully I can break it with a stone pickaxe. It's not gonna disintegrate. Good, it didn't disintegrate. That's fantastic. And then, you know, I'll, I'll if I find myself needing to come back here a whole bunch, then I'll do that. I won't even, I won't even hurt you, dude. The ethical Minecraft proponents would not be big fans of that I idea. Let's go, let's go a little bit farther in this direction and then uh, set up shop, dig out a mine or something like that and see if we can get any of the uh, divine RPG overworld ores and stuff like that, which are really like good for armor. If we could get like rupee gear early on, it's hard to find the ore veins, but whew, we'd be out here. We would really be out here. What? I, I, I decided that I should probably come back and get, and get a bed. And all of a sudden, this dude, bro, like, he spawned right next to me. I swear to God. I swear to God, you were not there, and now you're just sticking your tongue out at me, teasing me, and he's going to pummel me into oblivion. No. 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 I said no. No. I really should get a damage indicator or something equivalent like I had back in the day. Oh, God. Okay, three Terran shards. You know, it'd be great is if I had some fortune or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. Hey, you don't mind if I just take a bed real quick i mean there's plenty of beds in this village i'm just trying to remain relatively ethical because people will be upset if i i go about you know killing sheep for their wool instead it, it would be requested that that i make shears and i <laughs> do it that way bruh bruh what there's a, a pumpkin just turned into a spider right in front of me i swear to god i swear to god it was a pumpkin and then it became not a pumpkin anymore and it became a spider i want to i want to kill it in case it has good good drops but what is this going to do it again are you a fake pumpkin it's a fake pumpkin again! Oh, God! Oh, jeez! No. Oh, I hear them everywhere. Oh, I don't want to accidentally hit that man's. That would be bad. No, oh, the tall grass is going to ruin my life here, I swear. Also, my, my audio settings seem to be a little messed up because I keep hearing things from behind me, even though it's most definitely, like, not... Or it's in front of me, even though it's behind me, or it's behind me, even though it's in front of me. Ow, it's hurting me greatly! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I gotta... I really... This is, this is one of those moments where I could use... A bow. You know what we're gonna end up running into at some point is um Land Shark. Land Shark might might see some airtime at some point in this series, and I'm quite frankly not ready for that. <laughs> I'm really not ready. It did give us these shards though, which seem like good things. We, I mean, we need a lot of them, and looting will probably be better in order to make that happen. But I should just I should just make a little starter home somewhere. Somewhere is right around here, but maybe not in I'm bleeding everything I do. I'm bleeding I just bleed left and right no matter what stub toe bleed walk into block uh, Bleed it's kind of a this is kind of a pretty area right here. Maybe it's already it's already nice and flat You know the beauty of this whole thing is that I could obviously like move things pretty easily if I uh, am using refined storage I can just pack everything up and then just move to a new place carrying the drives and whatever power things I have separately so this could be a nice place for our our beautiful starter shack what is this let's see looks nice cypress okay interesting and then combine that with you know maybe some birch you know that could be like a really really great aesthetically pleasing combo for our, I'm being shot at again, aren't I? No, I'm not. That's good. All right, guys. Do you like my starter house? It's very, um, it's, it's open floor plan and, and spacious. 
a lot of headroom. You can be really tall and get in and and also it's it's bad at like preventing unwanted visitors, but I thought that everyone would just be a nice welcome visitor, but apparently I'm too trusting of, of the local population and, and they're not actually nice. What a shame. Yo, these cherry logs actually look really cool. And I feel like they could look nice with the house. Is this me actually thinking a, a, about design things? That's off brand. Ooh. Uh, what do heck? I was just finishing making my house and a rainbow spitting thing is, are you nice? You're not coming after me. If you're not angry, then your rainbows are, you're kind of cool. Okay. Yeah, I don't really know what to do with you, but hey guys. Okay, look, look, this is my amazing house. As it's known, I am one of the most sought after people for uh, servers like Hermitcraft um, because of my incredible building abilities. Now, I didn't end up using the cherry logs, um, even though they looked pretty nice, but what I did use are the cherry planks um, as some little accent colors on on the roof and uh, in these little these little recessed areas up here. So, isn't that great? I, th I think it's turned out really well for our little starter house. The one thing that I think it could use is is some like leaves around here, but we don't have shears to be able to get those yet. But but don't worry. I can add them and then I can also do you know a little little grass path in front. So yeah. I'm so good at building. I'm very upset right now because while I'm doing construction here on my beautiful cottage, there's construction going on next door in real life. And I don't know how many of you remember like a year ago me complaining that there was someone who was whistling extremely loudly, just piercing whistling all day long, nonsensical, not singing any songs, just whistling to whistle loudly like a PE teacher whistle and they're back. They were gone, life was good, and they're back. Why are they back? You think some like trap doors would look kind of nice around the edges of the, the windows? Do you? Yeah, Prob probably. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll do it just because you said so. All right, it's gonna look great. Ooh, cherry trap doors, dude. It's got like the white in there, like the cypress that's already on the house. Plus obviously the cherry. I feel like it's just, it's just made for this. Oh, look at that, dude. Oh, that's, oh, see, yeah. It's like that final little 5% or 10% that you add that really completes the aesthetic. And then we could just, you know, put some leaves down there. Could even add some trap doors, like birch trap doors. Oh my God, oh my God, the cherry trap doors. It's like, we just, we just, I had a feeling. I had a feeling they were gonna work. I just had a feeling and, and look, oh my God. We've turned what's it's supposed to be an adventure series into a um, bit of a design series. Okay, look, I know it's not that great, but I don't build things very often. So let me have this moment to be proud before I have to go all George Washington and chop down one more cherry tree because I don't have enough to complete this. I thought he was over there. I was hearing you from over there. It's you. It looks good. It looks good, doesn't it? I'm sorry. I have to chop down one more bit of, of tree. I hope you don't mind. Maybe they won't notice if I just like do part of this tree. It won't be floating. It just won't be complete, but eh, that could be a normal tree. That's fine. And now we can make the final trap door and then it's gonna be ready to go. Oh my God, look at this dude. It's gonna be sick. It's gonna be awesome. Only, only the best design choices here in this series. Look at that, boom. Look at that, boom. We got ourselves a nice, beautiful, completed starter home equipped with a path leading up to it. Wait, actually, you know what? I, I should put a, I should probably put a door on it. Maybe, what is a cherry door? Oh, that's what I'm talking about right there. Look, oh yeah. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I love it. I love it. The white and the red, it just works out beautifully. And then I, I can't quite sleep yet. This is what I'm talking about, dude. All that it needs is just the waystone out front. Starter house. Actually, home. It's a home. All right. A home is more intimate than a house. And that's what we've got here. Just a beautiful thing. I don't know. Maybe it could use some windows on the front, but it's nice. And it doesn't even have like super low ceilings, which I tend to do to myself. It should make things super cramped. Let me have this moment. Okay. Let me have just one moment to savor this 
before you tell me that it's not. Oh, it needs a window. That's um. Now it's now it's good. All right. It's a new dawn. It's a new day here at our beautiful starter home, and I think a good thing to work towards would be a backpack because that would allow us to store a lot more things once we go down to the mine. They're not that hard to get. Just unethically slay a few cows. No big deal. And then we'll have plenty of inventory space that we can work around with. And then, bro, I could start working towards whatever I need in order to get refined storage up and running. I think that's just a huge thing to work towards early on so we don't have to worry about sorting out our inventory in a bunch of different chests. We even do some, like, mechanism generator stuff. Try to get some mechanism going so that we can provide power to the ME system. I'm sorry, guys, but I appreciate all the leather that you're giving me right now. And then I need a little bit more string. Probably should have actually stayed around at night so that I could have uh, slain some spiders, gotten some more string, but that, that's all good, that's all good. Also, maybe I should just buy a bow from the villagers over here. Okay, wait, I don't wanna slay every cow, because if I do that, then there aren't gonna be any left in order for me to make a cow farm, potentially, if I need to do that, which would be pretty dumb of me to do. Let me do, yeah, I'm just gonna, I should mine some more wood, and then trade with my boy over here and get a bow. Hello, mates. I would like to buy some... Well, actually, I need to rank you up with your trades, don't I? There we go. Now you're gonna let me trade for bow, right? Let's go. Great. Fantastic. Thanks so much. I don't want to use the string, because I want to use the string for the backpack, not on a bow. So I'm just trying to save up a little bit here. I wonder if there's... Is there anything I could get around here that would give me any string? I bet there's, like, other mobs I could run into that would drop string. I bet, I bet even like the Cyclops would drop, drop string or something like that, but I don't... Maybe we should just uh, go into the mine. I'm sure we'll run into spiders and stuff, and then and then we'll be able to make a backpack down there, because it only takes four leather. So I think that's a good way to do it. But we got to we gotta get Relmite, Arlamite, and Rupees. And, I mean, if we can find a lot, actually, we'll be in really good shape. Like, you can make really good armor out of... Uh, let me see. So Rupees, Rupee Chestplate. Full set perks, 85% melee damage protection with eight armor on it. That just seems like endgame status, but you can you can get it from the overworld. And what, Rupee Rapier, 12 attack damage. Are you kidding me? Shickaxe, I forgot about shickaxes. Oh my God, I'm so excited, dude. I want a shickaxe so badly. I've always and, ever, and forever since first playing Divine RPG, I've always used the term shickaxe for like the multi-tools and stuff like that, even though it's always called a, something else like a Paxel or, or whatnot. But now, now we're getting back to where it's actually called Shikax and where the term came from. And I'm so excited. Where should we begin our mine? Maybe like, maybe right down over here? Yeah, definitely. What are this? What are this? What are this? This is, can I mine it with stone? This is, oh, osmium. Actually, we're gonna need some of that for mechanism, so. I should probably harvest it. We'll need many, 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 many osmium. Oh, frick, I just realized I have the cherry sapling in my inventory because I, I have to re-rack, and then I didn't re-rack, and that's just quite frankly embarrassing of me. No, is that what they, they, they bloom from flowers? That's where you come from? Oh, heck, dude. Actually, I actually want it. Wait, oh my God. Oh God, it's gonna be so hard to hit him. It's so hard to hit him with the freaking tall grass there. Jesus. And it seems like they just like disappear. They're not visible once they get a certain distance away. Oh, we're comboing, bro. You didn't stand a chance. He didn't drop anything. What the frick, mate? All right, we got ourselves a cave. Hello? Anybody in here? Uh, is this, is this relatively safe? Hello? I don't know why this cave, okay, cave system is not showing up on the mini-map at all. It's a little annoying, but okay. I just, everything causes me to bleed. And I don't like, nope, nope. I just need iron, bro. I just need iron. Let me just get iron. The other ores do not sparkle, but the vanilla ones, they sparkle. Like me, Captain Sparkles, known for my... Sparkling abilities. Uh, let's just do this. Get a shield going, and I feel like we'll at least be like 10 times more protected um, from there. So that's, I'm just gonna waste a full coal on it. I'm so sorry. Nope, don't do it. Don't do it. I know you're thinking about it, but just, nope, don't, don't do it yet. Please. Let me just, let me just have this. All right, let me protect. And then you can, now you can attack if you would like. Oh, there's so many skeletons, bro. What the heck? As long as there's no... Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, hold on. Okay. I, 
got this. There's no way that this is gonna go. Okay, their, their arrows are relatively synced, which is good. Got it, and I missed that one. God dang it, I'm an idiot. I whiffed my shot. How embarrassing. Oh, okay, iron. Iron, anything good? Any other good stuff around here that could contribute to really good stuff? Is this, is this Realmite? Is that Realmite? That's not, no, that's copper from Mechanism. There are a couple confusing little ore similarities between some of the Mechanism stuff and some of the Divine RPG stuff that even as I was uh, just flying around making sure that everything was generating properly, wait, is that, is that it? I think that's, don't shoot the bat! The bat is my friend! Only I and the lava can do that. Um, yeah, Realmite and Copper, pretty similar looking. I believe that's Realmite and that's Copper. Arlamite and Uranium, also uh, quite similar looking things that we, we have to uh, be aware of and stuff. Um, so yeah, Arlamite's more exciting than Uranium. And I think we're gonna get a lot of false alarms where I end up finding what I think is Arlamite. I'm like gonna run after it, super excited. And then it's gonna be Uranium. It's always so weird now, like going back before 1.18 New World Gen and stuff, just because of like, yeah, things are a little bit, um, tighter spaced and, uh, a little bit less exciting in the, uh, in the terrain generation department, but what can you do? So many mods are, are still for 1.16, so, um, and that is, so that's definitely Realmite. If it takes a long time to mine, it's Realmite. I don't think I can mine it until I at least get an iron pickaxe, so maybe that's worth doing, because, okay, there's more Realmite. Yeah, that's, um, that's good stuff. And we're gonna need it, I think we need it for like the very first dimension. But I mean, the very first Divine RPG dimension, we have to like go fight some real big, like thousand HP bosses in order to get the materials that we need in order to make the blocks to make the portal. So there's, there's stuff. There's uh there's legwork that we've got to do here. Like, let me see. So Twilight bosses. Okay, this is, yeah, we got a lot of gnarly stuff in here. But okay, so these are in the, the Twilight Dimensions, but I think maybe it's like getting, oh yeah, Vanilla Dimension bosses. So like, this dude's got a lot of health, and I think you spawn it, okay, you, you do it inside of the Nether, if you get resources to spawn it. Mysterious Clock to do the Ancient Entity might be our best bet, but this boy also like a thousand HP. And then this dude um, seems scary. This also seems, uh, scary they all seem kind of scary is is the theme if this is uranium right as uranium it's not it's not arlamite so yep that's that's going to be one of our ongoing confusions right there how about let's just see if we can mine the realmite with this i can't remember if the realmite can actually be like used for anything other than just making the, the things that's realmite right yeah there we go okay that's good to find um we might as well collect all the stuff that we've seen you Bigger vein, bigger vein, yeah, let's go. Wait, uh, I'm an idiot. Guys, I'm a gigantic idiot, and I'm sure that you noticed it in the B-roll that was shown of all the mods. Uh, vein mine is a mod. I was just wanting to wait until I um, I had an iron pickaxe for the durability. It was uh, it was by design, because otherwise, you know, the stone pickaxes, they just would have, they would have just failed so quickly. So, this was um this was just like a better way to 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 do it just to make sure that I'm I'm using a tool that's got you know better durability and, and stuff. I'm I'm sure you understand like and you would you would have done the same thing yourself. So um no I'm I'm glad we could all be on like the same page and stuff. Okay, so what can we make out of Realmite again? There yes, there is like sets of Realmite. Okay, Realmite so it's six attack damage. This is, I don't know if this is better. Oh wait, Elite Realmite. Yeah, that's a lot of, that's a lot. Um, but this stuff, okay, so that's six armor. Whereas, what is an iron chest plate? That's six armor, okay. So, it's on par with, with iron. He just tried to 360 Nosk me. That's insulting that you think I would fall to such a thing. Nice miss, bro, nice miss. God, you make some creepy sounds down here. I heard another... Yeah, wait, do you... I think you're making the deep snort sound, but there's another, like, <gasps> sound going on that sounds... You, you, are you, are you cool? You don't seem cool, and you, you probably do a lot of damage, I bet. Okay, well, so, hey guys, uh, this is good, and also bad, okay, no, it's fine. Actually, he's not too bad. 
this is good and also bad that no 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 not at the same time not two at once not two at once that the, the divine rpg mobs are spawning uh down here but but also i'm just gonna use a bow and arrow for this stuff he's good can't be hit by arrows that's awesome that's what i needed in my life wait never mind he can be hit by arrows bro he just dropped diamonds i need to find more of them <gasps> just kidding i'm not scared anymore please I would like for divine RPG mobs to spawn non-stop. Yo! Wait, that's- are you- uh, uh, wait. Are you- you seem- are you upset? Wait. It's like a zombie? But also- are you a traitor? Wait. You're not- you're- you're mean! You're mean! I thought maybe you were a traitor like the skeleton or the other dude bro inside of the straw house. No? Stop? Stop? But you sound like a zombie, so you're- who are you fooling? Oh my god, he's got so much health. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, he's standing still. Oh, he just dropped a diamond big axe. I drew a full diamond big axe. Bro, let's freaking go. We are off to a, a Oh, God, you scared me for a second there, bro. The audio is just all over the place. It sounds like you're there, but you're there, and it, uh, I don't know what's happening. This happens sometimes in, like, Minecraft instances, and I don't know why it, like, mixes the audio all up and, and throws it all over the place, but uh, this, this is a good, good time right now. Um... I'm just gonna go diamond sword. Yeah, let's just freaking go diamond sword now that we have the diamond pickaxe. This is mega. This is humongous. Even though I've just now wasted iron on, um, I, I could have had an iron helmet, but oh well. We'll find more. We'll find more, or maybe we'll just find more of these dude bros who will drop diamonds for us, which would be so cool. It's not Arlamite. I'm not falling for your tricks. I'm not falling for your tricks. That is, oh my God, there's so many, bro. Why is it all- everything here is skeletons, man. Can I- maybe like some spiders, some zombies, literally anything else. What is it with you guys? The fact that you constitute every spawn down here is a little ridiculous. This is much more like it. Ah, right, give me the string, bro. Give me the string. Thank you. And now we can make a backpack. Hey, by the way, while we're waiting for our iron to smelt, did I mention that you should, uh, check out the like button and- and click it on this video? Yeah? Cool, you should do that, and also uh, make sure you're subbed so you can stay tuned for all the future episodes in the series. There's gonna be a playlist in the description, so maybe you're watching this in the future after a few episodes have come out. That way you can just jump right into the next one after this first one is, is done. So, you know, just so easy peasy. Lemon squeezy, boom, we got that. Helmet, pants, sick or protected, and now we can upgrade everything else, all iron tools. And then all an iron shovel. This is good, dude. I mean, I haven't actually checked out this area down here. I was waiting until we had a, a little bit more uh, protection and stuff from a full set of iron armor. But so far, like, not too bad. I wish we could get more of those, like, diamond dudes spawning all over the place, man. I didn't think I'd be like, you know, oop. It's gonna, that's gonna take out some of my durability. Or people, when I was like mining down the stairs at the beginning, where people were like, just vein mine, dude, just vein mine. I'd be like, well, I mean, at the same time, though, you can't really target the direction of your vein mine when you're just trying to do a big chunk of like stone. So it's it's not really, it's not quite as effective. So anyway, just bear with me. All right, we got a whole bunch of lapis. Nice, ready to enchant. Um, Oh, wait, yo, actually, we should make the backpack because we're uh, running out of inventory space here. These backpacks are so good. So with these backpacks, and this mod, like, there's upgrades that you can do. Like, um, the auto eating upgrade is is so cool. The feeding upgrade. So you put this into the upgrade slot on the backpack, and then it'll just automatically use food that's in the backpack in order to feed you, which is so sick. Um, and I basically I've used nonstop in Ragnamod. So, and then, okay, there's a hotkey. Is it B? Nope, that wouldn't be it. Let me change it. This is a tier one backpack right here. Like, you get so many mods where the tier one backpack is just like one line. They're nice to you in this one. And then you can, I can, I can actually, wait. I can straight up just get this thing upgraded to the next level right now, I'm, I'm pretty sure. And then the level after that, I think, is gold, which we're not quite there yet. But I mean, how difficult would it be to get eight gold? There we go. Iron backpack, right? And now that's going to get us to... It doubled the storage. It added three more lines. I forgot how incredible these are. And then you can go into like the backpack uh, settings and you can go into the uh, filters and it's just, just, there's so much like 
cool stuff and you can do the upgrades over here on the left and then and then have it just like automatically feed which is just big big humongous maneuvers and my god i love backpacks almost forgot to add this mod in and um then i was like what are the things that i'm really really liking in ragnamod oh yeah the backpacks they're pretty great let me just uh let me just throw those in that doesn't seem like too bad of an idea should i get the smelting actually you know what? let me just do this really quick and then i'll see if i can do it if i can just find like a few more gold here then we can add even more slots and i can basically just stay underground is that that's still uranium it's just it's so hard for me to tell it really it really come on big big vein big vein big vein what do we got what do we got because we had oh that's it dude that's what we needed because we had the three before any any arlamite any rupees oh god come on come on come on it's okay we're gonna find we're gonna find it at some point gonna find it at some point and and it's I, I, to be fair when i was just like browsing testing um flying through world spectator before because i like i obviously wanted to make sure that all of the ores were generating um, from all the different mods when combined with, uh, uh, oh, the biomes you'll go, so on and so forth. It's pretty, it's pretty rare to find, uh, Arlamite and, and Rupees. They seem kind of equivalently rare, and the amount of times so I was like, I found it! And then it was, uranium is not okay. Um, okay, let's do that. Wait a minute, did I have, I put the gold in there. All right, here we go, level it up again. Oh my god, dude. How big, how big does it get? I maxed out on like netherite backpack and Ragnamod, but that's pretty good storage. Yeah, no, that's, that's nice. And I suppose we could also end up going, I didn't add the ender chest mod, but I could do that because it doesn't change world gen or anything like that. And I should say, actually, if you're watching this, and you have any suggestions, if there's any mods that you think would be good to add, I guess even ones that do impact or generation, like I could just walk to new chunks and we have the waystones and stuff. So if you think there's any mods that are like, oh no, you need to put this in, I think it'd be great for the sake of the series. Uh, feel free to, you know, comment, suggest it. We're still early on. I just don't want to change the main focus from Divine RPG. That's why I kind of, I kept it a little bit simple because again, if our main focus is to kind of just work our way through the dimensions there, fight the bosses, um, I didn't want to add in any other like, you know, Valhelsia or, or structures or anything like that um, with crazy dungeons because I, I feel like that would kind of divert the focus away. But, you know, if there's any quality of life stuff that you you can think of that I forgot um, that I might want, then then by all means, feel free to let me know. But in any case, I feel like we're off to a pretty good start here. You know, we got we got some good tools. We got our backpack set up. We got a beautiful starter home. We got this beautiful thing that just wants to donate diamonds to us. You're too kind. Thank you so much. One diamond in this case. I would just love it if more of you guys would spawn all over the place. That would be amazing. Yeah, but this, this feels like a good spot maybe to uh, leave things off for the time being. Next time around, I guess we'll keep on probably working to... Frick. Oh god, it's you! Oh god, oh no, oh no, oh no. Man, you do so much damage, even though I have a full set of iron armor. We're gonna wanna work towards enchanting, most likely on things, but uh, yeah, we wanna, we wanna work towards, you know, the nether and... The page sounds just sound like a mob that's, that's approaching, and it is really uncomfortable. But we need to, we need to work towards the uh, mysterious clock, which... It's not an easy thing to get. So these are the enthralled dram cricks drops from underground. This requires going into the nether and um, yeah, but that's it. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed episode one. Make sure you're subbed to stay tuned for uh, future episodes. Hit the bell, turn on all the notifications, playlists, like the video, you know the drill. Um, all right though, anyway, excited to keep it going and I'll see you next time.